quite early, not long after seven o'clock. We're out on an excursion fairly early this morning. Uh, so we've decided to come up to the buffet just for a quick bite. I didn't really fancy any cooked breakfast this morning. I've had a couple of big cooked breakfasts the last couple of mornings. So I just decided to go for a bit of fruit and porridge this morning. Uh, and so have you any? How's yours? Yeah, good. Just finished my porridge. Just whisk the plate off. I'm going to start on my fruit. Nice. So I'm looking forward to today. Quite good fun. You'll see what we get up to shortly. Abu Dhabi and uh, we're at the Grand Mosque it's amazing if you come to Abu Dhabi you've got to come to the Grand Mosque it's absolutely stunning isn't it? It's stunning absolutely stunning and it's roasting hot as well it isn't is. it stunning? us going. Um, we're just leaving this underground tourist area with the Costa Coffee and the Starbucks and the Cinnabon and all the gift shops. Um, let's grab my bag and off we go. So this is how you access the underground area that takes you to the mosque itself. Down from one of these uh, glass domes Down from the car park area. Even they're impressive, aren't they? Yeah, this looks amazing, doesn't it? So when you come into the car parking area of the mosque, you'll see these glass domes and then you enter these and down these escalators. That takes you to the underground air um, underground route through security and and then back up the escalator to the other side that take you, takes you to the mosque itself. Uh, but yeah, we just... Uh, <laughs> loads of people coming in now, it's really busy. I can see loads of coaches out there, but look at that, absolutely stunning. It's warm out here. So yeah, you see the uh, glass dome. Wow, this is really hot, isn't it? Roasting. Look how lovely it is here, though. We are right on the edge of the um, Abu Dhabi F1 circuit. Uh, it's awesome, isn't it? You've got a marina over there, which is having a drink outside this hotel. Uh, the hotel has supplied us with a couple of refreshments. And, uh, and the circuit is just over here. You can see the uh, part of the grandstand just beyond those palm trees there is the F1 circuit. Mm. This juice is nice. It's easy, isn't it? Lemon and mint. Yeah, 
you can see the bits of mint it's like it's not a cordial it's um it's a fresh juice with bits of mint in it i can see the mint <laughs> that guy that guy over there just tripped over that um, block and fell on the grass okay. it wasn't very dramatic Day came out all right it was a really good excursion it was getting really hot out there but uh, now we're in the uh, the island's buffet for lunch got a bit of a selection going on there mashed potato fries pasta with spicy sausage a little tofu burger some cold meat and pizza mm. nice they do some really nice puddings. I mean, I could have had all of them, to be honest. So that's it? Cheese cake. Yeah. Apple slice. Nice. So I fancied what Kirsty had, which was the cheesecake. Uh, was this an apple? Apple, apple there. Yeah, I mean the apple crumble. And uh, a caramelised pineapple mousse type. Thing. So yeah, it looks pretty good. The cheesecake looks really good. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it is nice. I do like a cheesecake. This is the terminal buildings down here. That's the Ida Prima over there, and us. So we're the only two cruise ships in at the moment. Uh, that's where we went through. Just over there, this building here, is the cruise terminal that we went through. Uh, and out to the coaches, just down here. Uh, this is a building site at the moment, but it, uh, it already says Abu Dhabi Cruise Terminal. Uh, so I guess that this, this whole big area here, which is currently pretty much a building site, uh, will be done in the not too distant future and it'll be a lovely new plush cruise terminal. But it's nice. We've come down to the coffee port on deck six. It was getting a bit warm. We were sat in the sh out in the sh shade on the open deck, but it was still really hot. So we've come inside just to sit in the air conditioning for a little while and have a cold drink. Oh, I've got a, a Banoffee blend, which is nice. You just got a cup of tea, you got mint tea. Is it nice? Yeah. Everyone's actually sunbathing upstairs. It's, um, it's quite busy up there with all the sunbeds out and uh, it's nice and peaceful in here. Obviously people are after getting suntans ready for Christmas, but we're Christmas. not too. Did you just mention the sea? Right? I did, yeah, it was only a few weeks away, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we're not so fast to be honest. It's nice in here, nice and quiet. So we're going to book a, an excursion. Uh, for the last stop in India that we haven't booked an excursion for yet so I thought we'd show you the interactive system 
um, excursions you got all your different locations and that's the one we want to book an excursion for and the one we fancy is the uh, artisan village so you just click on the artisan village and uh, it gives you your price your timings a little bit about what's going on so you just book the excursion I'd actually already scanned the card it would normally then ask you to uh, scan your cruise card so you just scan your cruise card down here um, it'll come up with uh, everyone in the cabin uh, accept the conditions total price and then just book excursion there we go and we've got our tickets printing out down there simple as that good evening we're going down to the Italian for dinner <laughs> have you guessed that Andy rather likes the Italian restaurant yeah. <laughs> I already know what I'm having linguine alfredo tonight Yeah, that's, the, yeah. mm. that's different, that's like a green pesto this time. So I've ordered my linguine. It is an extra charge for the linguine Alfredo, but it's not huge. I think it's what is it? I don't know, it's a bit No, not entirely sure, <laughs> but it is an extra charge. But it's only for one meal, so. Um, I can't, it's not going to be a massive amount of money, is it? Ah, risotto stuff for this. Risotto balls? Mm. Nice. Are they tasty? They are, yeah. Are they like tomato-y? Um, no, they're not a massive flavour. It's this kind of tomato sauce that's got more of a flavour. Right. They are. So, this is my linguine is going to be prepared in the huge parmesan cheese wheel so it's, uh, it's there we're getting prepared Very much, thank you. Would you like some chili flakes or parsley? Uh, yeah, a few chili flakes would be nice. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. That looks amazing, though. Mm. And what did you get? I got um, it's also it's fried fish, so calamari, prawns, salmon, scallops with some potato and a spicy sauce. Well, I suspect this is going to be pretty cheesy. <laughs> oh, well, I've already flicked it across the across the room. Yeah, it's really nice. As you'd expect, it's really cheesy, really creamy. It just looks like a layer of melted. The linguine is actually al dente. And I think it does say that in the menu. It's al dente. But yeah, really cheesy, really creamy. Um, really nice meal, really nice. So I'm having an affogato, which is um, vanilla ice cream with an espresso shot 
and uh, and chocolate shavings. Something different. Tiramisu is my favourite, but this sounded really good, so uh, I'll try this. And you're not having anything, are you? No, I'm hooding out. It's quite unusual, actually. I've never heard of it before. It's like a proper espresso shot in there. I'll just eat the ice cream and then drink the espresso shot afterwards. Mm. Yeah, if you're a coffee lover, that's um, that's a really nice dessert. Yeah, without the cheese. Yeah. It's quite, it come quite a simple concept, really. Vanilla ice cream and coffee with some chocolate. It's nice. I like it. I'll have it again. Back in the live room. Spending another little bit of our evening in the live room listening to a bit of live music. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice in here. I love it in here. I think that actually the entertainment on Morella is really good. Yeah. So we're just listening to a bit of Hannah on the piano. It's a bit wet out here. I think uh, we may be in for a little bit of rain overnight and maybe into tomorrow, but hopefully not where we're going. But it's a lovely warm but breezy evening. And that's uh, today over. We had a fantastic day in Abu Dhabi. Uh, the mosque was amazing, as good as we would had hoped uh, it was going to be. It was really good fun, oh, wasn't it? Was it? Excellent. it really Such was excellent. Such an amazing building. <laughs> Such really an amazing stunning. building. Really stunning. So um, you've got to, if you come to Abu Dhabi, you've got to go. I think I said that earlier. You've got to go to the Grand Mosque if you come to Abu Dhabi. It's um, very modern, isn't it? Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Lots of great high-rise, really sort of modern. Yeah. Everything, everything's brand new. Yeah, still loads of new stuff going up all the time. So yeah. it'll probably change again if we come back, which we'd like to. And not I quite think. as busy as Dubai. So anyway, we're going to end the vlog here. I think we're going to go to the main dining room for breakfast in the morning. And then it's out to a five-star resort to spend the day on the beach. At least that's the plan if the weather stays good, which it has done so far. So I hope you'll join us for tomorrow's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog and um, we'll see you for breakfast. We've just got back into our cabin and we've had a letter from Marella. Uh, the five-star resort that we were supposed to be going to 
and spending the day tomorrow has been cancelled because they're actually expecting rain and thunderstorms so it wouldn't be much fun to be fair would it really no, no. Um, at the resort on the beach in the crappy weather so so yeah I'm not too sure what we're going to do if the weather's that bad we probably won't even bother venturing out anywhere <laughs> no maybe not um, <laughs> so we'll have to we'll have to play it by ear um, if it's not bad weather all day then perhaps we'll try and get the shuttle into town or something but but anyway like I said earlier hopefully today's vlog has been pretty good and I hope you'll join us for tomorrow's vlog uh, no idea what it's going to uh, consist of but hopefully you'll join us anyway uh, and see what we end up getting up to so thanks for watching today anyway and uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning i think we're going to go to the main the main dining room for breakfast so we'll see you there thanks for watching